There was a table on the other side of the roof with a bunch of junk on it. Pieces of cloth, bubble wrap, feathers, strings, straws, tape, cotton balls, rubber bands, toilet paper tubes, plastic bags, popsicle sticks, cardboard boxes, some styrofoam, and a big box of honey sugar bongos. On there were also two cartons of eggs. That was weird. Why is all this stuff up here? asked Ryan. We are going to do a science project, said the snowman. I call it the Great Egg Drop Challenge. We are going to eat egg drop soup, Ryan, said, Ryan asked. Yum. No, said the snowman. We are going to drop eggs off the roof. He was rubbing his hands together again, a sure sign that he's crazy. Why is dropping eggs off the roof a science project? asked Andrea. Well, asked the snowman, if you drop an egg off the roof onto the sidewalk below, what do you think will happen? The egg will break, we all replied. Duh. Right, said the snowman, the sidewalk is much harder than the eggshell, so we need to think of a way to prevent the egg from breaking at the end of its fall. How can we do that? asked Alexia. There, there are lots of ways, said the snowman. Each of you are going to design a package using the things on the table to protect your egg from a fall. We'll record the rest the results. When we'll do, then we will discuss which packages worked, which one didn't, and why. That way you will learn about gravity, velocity, inertia, and acceleration. I didn't know what any of that stuff meant, but it didn't matter because throwing anything off a roof is cool, and we all got to work figuring out ways to protect our eggs. Emily wrapping a bunch of rubber bands around her eggs. When my egg hits the sidewalk, it will bounce, she said, but it won't break. Ryan put his eggs, his egg in a little cardboard box and filled the box with feathers. The feathers will cushion my egg, he said, so it won't break when it hits the sidewalk. Michael put his egg inside a plastic bag and surrounded the egg with foam peanuts. My egg will move inside the bag when it hits the sidewalk, he said, but not enough to hit the, the hard surface and break. Andrea made a little parachute out of some cloth and string. Then she put her egg in a basket that hung below the parachute. If I can make my egg fall more slowly, she said, it won't crack when it hits the ground. Neil wrapped his egg in bubble wrap and cotton balls. Alexia put her egg inside a piece of styrofoam and taped it shut. I put my egg inside the box of honey sugar bongos. That's my favorite cereal. The cereal has so much sugar in it, you might as well pour sugar right from a sugar bowl into your mouth. You all have such good ideas, said the snowman. I can see how some of you could become great scientists someday. Is there a prize for the student whose egg doesn't break? Asked little miss, I always want to win something. Yes, said the snowman. You get to bring your egg home with you. But what if all the eggs break? Asked Emily. Then lunch will be scrambled eggs today, said the snowman. Are you ready? Ready, we all shouted. Ten, nine, eight. The snowman started counting down. You are going to learn about Newton's first and second laws. Huh? We all said, which is also half backwards. Seven, six, five. The snowman continued. An object at rest will remain at rest unless acted on by an unbalanced force. What? Four, three, two, said the snowman. An object in motion continues in motion 
with the same speed and in the same direction unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. I had no idea what he was talking about. One zero. Okay, let them fly. Bombs away, I shouted as I threw the box of honey sugar bongos off the roof. That's when the weirdest thing in the history of the world happened. There was a thud down below and then a scream. Eat. We all rushed over to the edge of the roof and you never believe what we saw down on the sidewalk in the front in front of the stool. It was Mrs. Elementary, the old lady who our stool was named after. She was flat on her back. Help! She shouted, I'm under attack. Uh oh, said the snow said the snowman. Doctor Snow and Doc Mr Doctor went running down the stairs as fast as they could. We all followed them. I was huffing and puffing and sweating and panting when we got down to the first floor. Then we ran out the front door of the stool. Mrs. Mantry was still lying on the ground. Her eyes were closed and she had pieces of egg all over her. Oh no, shouted Alexia. Ella Mantry is dead. We killed her, shouted Neil. Everybody was yelling and screaming and freaking out. But Mrs. Mantry wasn't dead and we didn't kill her. I know that for sure because after a few seconds her eyes opened. Are you okay, Mrs. Mantry? asked Mr. Doctor. No, I'm not okay, shouted Mrs. Mantry angrily. What idiot spread maple syrup all over the sidewalk? I think my leg may be broken. I was trying to teach the students about sentry battle force, explained the snowman. By putting maple syrup on the sidewalk, shouted Mrs. Pantry. But, 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 said the snowman and Mr. Docker. I started giggling because they both said but, which sounds just like but, even though it only has one T. And what did you teach the students by throwing eggs off the roof? Shouted Mrs. Mantry as she removed a piece of eggshell from her face. A uh, gravity, velocity, acceleration. Isn't there some other way to teach other those things? Shouted Mrs. Mantry. I got hit on the head with a box of honey sugar bongos. Everybody looked at me because they knew I threw the box of honey sugar bongos off the roof. I was wondering what happened to my egg. If elementary's head was softer than a sidewalk, maybe my egg didn't crack when the box of honey sugar bongos landed on her. But this didn't seem like the right time to open the box and find out. Why is it that every time I come to school, I get attacked by flying food, shouted Elementary. But, said the snowman and Mr. Docker, that's it, said Mrs. Mantry. Get me out of here. I need to call my lawyer. This is the last straw. Huh? I didn't know we ran out of straws. What did straws have to do with anything anyway? But... I didn't donate a million dollars to this school, so the students could throw food at me every time I visit. Mrs. Mantry shouted, I want my money back. But they sure say but a lot.